A while ago, I polled some of the best players in the world and I asked them what they thought made a great player great. And the most common answer by far was that great players always had a plan. And that goes to show you that magic is more than making individually good decisions. It's more about having a cohesive game plan that ties everything together than making every single individual correctly. So what is a plan? A plan is a destination. A plan is a place you want to get to. And because you know where you're going, you can make every single decision with that in mind. So it's more a guideline for every decision that you make than a decision in itself. For example, imagine your opponent has a grizzly bear, a random 2-2, and you have the same grizzly bear, so a 2-2. Uh, your opponent attacks. Should you block or should you not block? At face value, these cards have the same value, right? They are the exact same card. So to know if your 2-2 is more valuable than their 2-2, you have to know what the plan for the match is. So are you trying to survive until you can play a big creature, maybe? Well, in that case, then the two points of life are probably more important than the 2-2, so you should block. Right, uh, but are you trying to protect your bigger creature from an edict effect, a sacrifice effect? So in that case, having the 2-2 is probably more important than the two points of life, so you should not block. Are you trying to race your opponent, perhaps you have an aura, perhaps you have an equipment, uh, so that would make your 2-2 more valuable, uh, and then in that case you should not block because your creature is worth more than theirs. So if you don't tell me anything, if you give me no context about the situation, I can't tell you if you should block the creature or not, because I don't know where you're trying to go. But if you tell me, I'm trying to race this game, or I'm trying to resolve my big spell, then suddenly making this decision becomes very easy because you know what is important and what isn't. Another very common scenario where you have to have a plan is when your opponent plays a mana creature, such as a Birds of Paradise. And then people ask, should I bolt the bird? That's a very common phrase in Magic, bolt the bird. And the answer is, it depends on what your plan is. Right? If your plan is to exhaust your opponent out of threats, so say you were playing a deck full of removal spells and the game is going to go long and you're going to control the game and kill all the important things, then killing the Birds of Paradise doesn't accomplish anything because your opponent is not fighting on the speed angle, they're just fighting on the threats angle. So the, the Birds of Paradise might as well be a land. Right? They will get to play all their cards anyway, you're not closing out the game. So it doesn't make any sense to spend a resource, which is a removal spell, on what is basically not a resource, it's just a mana creature that's not going to do anything because mana will be superfluous uh, at the end of the game. So if you understand that your plan is to kill everything, then killing the bird doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't make much sense. But if you understand that, for example, your plan is to be fast and resolve something before your opponent can react, then killing the birds might suddenly make sense. Right? If your plan is to cast a cryptic command on a collective company, you know your plan is going to cast collective company, you have cryptic command as your only answer, then if you kill the Birds of Paradise, you can counter the Collective Company. But if you don't kill it, your opponent is going to play the Collective Company before you get to cast your Cryptic Command, because they have an extra mana, and then suddenly your whole plan falls apart. So depending on what your plan is and what you're trying to do, uh, you should or should not kill the Birds of Paradise. And the only way you know that, the only way you can make that decision, is by formulating a plan based on the cards in your hand, and the cards that are in play, what you're playing, and what your opponent's playing. Another interesting situation, and that actually comes from a pro tour, and I will leave you the link. Now here is when uh, Shota Yasoka, so one of the very best players in history, was playing his control deck versus a Boros deck or Mardu deck with vehicles. Uh, and most people in, in a situation like that uh, were just going after the Smuggler Sculptor, right? The Smuggler Sculptor was a very powerful vehicle that was in basically every deck, it eventually got banned from standard. And most people couldn't stand the idea of being attacked by a smuggler sculptor because that will give you an opponent, your opponent an advantage. And Shota Yasoka didn't do that. So Shota Yasoka, during that match, he took several hits from the smuggler sculptor, he had his opponent loot several cards, he just went after the creatures. Which was a very unusual play, everyone that was watching it was very surprised. And the reason he did that is because he had a plan. His plan was, I'm gonna kill every creature my opponent plays. So at some point, my opponent is going to run out of creatures, and I'll effectively kill the vehicles by proxy. Because if my opponent has no creatures, then my opponent can't equip the vehicles, therefore the vehicles are dead. 
And because Shota identified that this was his plan very early on, he already knew how that matchup worked, he was able to make that play. He was able to always kill the creature and let the vehicle through. Uh, and eventually that's what happened. His opponent just ran out of creatures and the vehicles didn't do anything. So having a plan is very important, right? We can establish that. But then the big question is, how do you formulate your plan? How do you know what your plan should be? And the best way to do that for me is to envision what a game that you win looks like. So in your mind, you're winning the game. Uh, what is happening in the game that you win? Uh, is your opponent, is it turn 15 and your opponent has no creatures in play and all ends? Well, then you probably want to exhaust all their cards, right? If that's how you're going to win. Or is it because you're coming out blazingly fast and you're killing them before they can play their five mana spell? Well, then that's what your plan should be. So the idea is there's always a best way for you to win the game. And it might not be probable, it might not be likely, but there is a best way. And you have to figure out what that best way is. So imagine the game that you win and then see all the paths that lead you there. And then once you understand where you're trying to get to, you can make each individual decision. Because making each individual decision just by itself is very complicated, it's almost impossible. So you need a guideline, and that guideline is your direction, your destination. So figure out where you wanna go, figure out what a game that you win looks like, and then make every single decision uh, based on that.